my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. If you can roll your R's and say Marta, 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 I really don't care. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that I've been under the weather. But today, I feel better. Uh, not like 100%, but well enough to film a few videos. So, uh, yeah, so if you saw in the intro there, I'm going to be doing my very bronzy, glowy, natural look that I've been doing lately and that I'm probably gonna rock on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, there's two uh, ends of the spectrum here. Some people like to do, wear more makeup than they typically do, like extra, like very vampy eyes and a red lip and stuff like that. Then there's the option to wear makeup in a way where it looks like you're not wearing any. And that's what I like to do because I know my boyfriend says I'm prettiest when I'm not wearing any makeup. He's loco. I trick him because he thinks I'm not wearing any makeup, but I actually am. <laughs> the key is to wear so much makeup to the point where you look like you're not wearing any, you know? So let's get started on this glowy, bronzy, flirty Valentine's Day look, shall we? Put my hair back with my little, little headband. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, to start out, I always have moisturizer under my skin because I definitely think there should be a layer between your skin and your foundation. So I put some moisturizer primer like I stack on the layers. So I'm starting out with this Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Makeup, First Aid Beauty, because this stuff is so good for dry skin and it's winter here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it is a very dry. And this stuff is very moisturizing. And it'll start to give us that glow. Which is what we want. For primer, I'm using this tiny, literally, this is the smallest sample I've ever gotten in my life, of the new Benefit Professional Pearl Primer. So it's the pink bottle. I am obsessed with this stuff. I've always used the regular Professional, but now that I've tried this little pearl, I need to get a whole bottle of this. This fills in my pores like nobody's business. Like, it's very thick. Let me see if I can show you. That was too much. Holy shoot. But it literally makes my skin so soft. Before I had a boyfriend, I would always pamper myself, like, to the extreme on Valentine's Day. Um, like, get new makeup. Um, get in the bath with a bath bomb, watch my favorite show, eat tons of candy, or um, I remember one Valentine's Day, me and my best friend Adriana, we like baked ourselves a cake, a Valentine's Day cake, and celebrated Valentine's Day just me and her because we didn't have boyfriends. Whatever you're doing on Valentine's Day, just find a way to make yourself feel good about yourself. Just do whatever makes you happy. Be with someone who makes you feel so good and happy. Um, surround yourself with positive people. And um, if for that day it's just you, own it. Make it amazing. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm gonna be mixing two colors. Cause I think, no, this might be good. All right, I'm gonna be using the color 103. Got my booty blender. So I like to put it on with a brush and then follow it with a beauty blender. You guys notice that I painted my nails? I got a manicure. I never have nail polish on or if I do, it's crusty and old. <laughs> and so I finally got my nails done. I just think it's a stupid waste of money to get your nails done. So I always paint them myself, but then they only last like, like two days. So I went and I got the gel manicure and now they should stay on for at least a month. This foundation is very lightweight. You just, you feel like you're not wearing anything. It dries so matte that it's not gonna be coming off on your loved one when you give them a hug. Um, it's not gonna be coming off on them, so it's really good. I do it in sections because it dries so fast that you need to do it in sections. This Valentine's Day, I actually don't get to see my boyfriend because it's on a Wednesday and we don't go to the same school, so. 
He's about an hour and a half, uh, hour and 15 minutes away from me. And we both get done with class around 7.30, 8 p.m. So, kind of be silly to drive all the way there and then have to get up early the next day for class and drive all the way back here. So, we're just celebrating the weekend after. So I'm gonna be by myself on Valentine's Day too. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Pamper myself. Probably get a new mask, like a mud mask. <laughs> now a very glowy, thin uh, concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me and I have this in the color light. So do you see how it's, it's well, on camera it looks really light, but here it doesn't look that light. Um, I don't like to put a super light, like contrasting color if I'm trying to have that natural look, or else it just looks like too much makeup. Skin is in, isn't it? Everybody's trying to look natural now, and I'm loving it. Now quickly, I actually have been baking under my eyes a little bit just because I noticed it takes away any wrinkle and I always have one like fat wrinkle right there and I don't want it. So that's all I do, just that. And then for the rest of my face, I just take a brush and lightly mattify so smile lines because hopefully you'll be smiling on valentine's day so now it's time to bronze up this face because it's looking very flat and very light current favorite way to contour is with these wet and wild contour sticks there's a bunch of different colors i picked up the color Where's Walnut? Where's Walnut? 806. We're gonna chisel out everywhere that would normally be chiseled. These are really easy to blend. They're really creamy. And then under my lip to make my, oh, I look crazy. Kinda quickly start blending so it doesn't get dry. I like to use this Real Techniques brush. And I stick it on it and then swipe up because I really want this to stay chiseled and white. You know what I'm saying? Swipe up and back. Ooh, ooh, oh, I love doing that. And then to blend out my nose, I like to up and down and kind of swipe down. If it's too harsh, you can always go over with the beauty blender, which is what I always do. Um, I went to Walgreens and I picked up the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It has a subtle kind of shine to it. I take an angled brush. Mm, I'ma smell so good. And just go over everywhere we just touched up. This is really buildable. It's not very harsh or dark at all. Do you see how this look is just looking natural? So I'm taking this, it's like a peachy kind of blush because I think it goes with our, our um, whole look that's very bronzy and not too harsh so I'm not grabbing like a red blush or a pink blush it's like a peachy blush it's by Tarte and it's called Feisty and I'm gonna take a blush brush this is elf yeah I believe most of my brushes are elf and real techniques I'm just like dip that in there and I used to not be like a blush kind of person but then ever since I started putting blush on I'm like Oh, this completes a look, honey. Oh, it's so cute. My voice is still gone from being sick. It's fine. Alright, I'm going to wipe away this crud. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because they take way too long. Actually, they don't take that long. 
but I will link below the last video that I showed you how I did my eyebrows in if you want to see that, but I'll be right back. Hey y'all, um, I feel much more put together whenever I have my eyebrows on. Anybody else? Just me? Okay. And for my eyes, it's going to be so natural. Where's my brush? I get the biggest blending brush that I have, which is this big one. And I have my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. It's all these pretty bronzy colors, and I'm going to use Low Blow. Just dip it in Low Blow and put it right above the crease. These are very pigmented, so a lot goes a long way. So this is a very natural look. I like to match my eyeshadow kind of to the contour that we have going on. Uh, but never put it under the brow bone. Leave that nice and white and bright. And then I take my Carly Bible palette. You guys know I'm obsessed with this palette. And it's almost gone and it makes me sad. I'm hitting pan on like everything. But I get a nice flat brush. This one, nice flat brush. And I'm actually going to use some setting spray. So I have this Too Faced little sample setting spray. I'm just going to spray my brush. And I'm going in this gold color right here. And then I take a little pointed brush and I go into this highlighting gold here and stick it right in the inner corners because now it's time to bring in the highlight to this very matte face I dip, I, dip, I dip it in the pink a little bit too and then we're gonna do the gold and the pink under the arch and then take that gold down the center of my nose And I try to round it on the end because I have, I don't know, pointy nose. Oh man. I'm using my Too Faced setting spray. This comes out really strong, so I'm going to keep a distance. And then I'm going to put highlighter. We want to be seen from the heavens, girl. And then what you can do is spray perfume. This is pink sugar on your body. So then you're damp and take a that on the collarbones. Zoom you out. <coughs> a little bit on the shoulders. And this is all using the Carly Bible highlights. Oh man. We're gonna glow. So I'm glowing, but I'm not like sticky from like oil or lotion. I'm just glowing from the highlight. I'm bouncing around all over the place. So let's go back to the eyes and add some mascara. I'm going to be putting this lengthening one on. I've really been liking this. I have a ton of mascaras for volume, but um, I've been focusing more on length than volume lately. I think it's more flirtier. So Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. My eyes look very awake. <laughs> with this mascara, it tends to make your lashes very straight, so you have to work with it to curl them, that's all. Okay, now, I have these Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I just did a review on them, so if you want to see how I put these babies on, then I will link it below so you can watch it. Uh, but I've been obsessed with these. I think they're very natural looking, and easier to apply than me having to deal with glue and accidentally ripping my lashes off. Not about that. So I put these magnetic puppies on and they're just focused on the outside and I absolutely love them. So yeah, I've been doing this and I love it and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day because it's really flirty and sultry, but enough of me talking. Let me put them on and I'll be right back to show you. I am getting so good at putting these on. That only took like two minutes. So as you can see, they focus on the outer part of the eye and they're just so flirty and so 
lightweight and just I love them. And now for the lips. I am so happy that gloss is back in because these lips have been getting very dried out with all the liquid matte lipsticks and so I'm very happy that we can do gloss now. I have two magic ingredients to my concoction for the perfect metallic glossy glowy lip and that is one is this LA Girl liquid metal lipstick in it's the color GML 855 and then we throw some highlighter on top of it if you want to outline your lips you can I'm actually yeah I'm outlining my lips with this what is it called Italia deluxe ultra lip liner this actually came in a kit of about 14 liquid uh, 14 lip liners. I found it on Amazon. I Am so good at hunting Amazon for deals for um, Makeup because I'm a makeup artist and it's good to have large quantities of different things for people And so I found this kit and I love it And this is the color natural So now we're going to take that metal liquid lipstick. Why is this? Look how glowy. It's very bronzy. And then I just take a little bit of the gold from here and tap it on with my finger. And then the lips coincide with the eyes and everything just comes together. So then this is the final result. My voice is gone. <coughs> What the heck? But yeah, I've been obsessed with this routine and layering all these products together and these wings, these beautiful lashes. I'm obsessed with them and just glowing and I just, I don't know. I really like this look and it's not the typical look people go for for Valentine's Day. They go for that like red lip, ton of makeup on the eyes, going all glam and if that's what you like, go ahead and do that. That's normally what I like too, but ever since I discovered this look, I've been obsessed with it and my boyfriend really likes it and everybody is always complimenting me on it. And so I wanted to show you guys what I do to get this look right here. So I hope you guys like this video and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I post three videos a week, three. So you always have something to watch and let me know what you want to see next. Comment below. Tell me what you want to know, what you want to see, and I will always take your comments and suggestions first before I do my normal list of videos that I have planned. Also, let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day because everybody has a different tradition that they like to do, or maybe this is, this year you're doing something different, or whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day. Let me know because I'm curious. I don't know what I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day, though, because I know... We're I mean, the day of Valentine's Day, I'll be alone in, in bed, but <laughs> the weekend after when I see him, um, we're probably going to go out, but I don't have anything planned to wear. I love you guys so much, and welcome to everybody who's been subscribing. I'm just so beyond thankful and shocked at how fast my channel is growing. Alright, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Whew.